Let's take a look at some of the highlights of the new features in this release. By now you've probably noticed our new Autodesk Exchange window. This is your portal to instructional videos, our in-product help, and much more. If you're online, you'll always have access to the latest information. The Content Explorer makes it easy to access design content from different folders you specify. You can search for and access content in local folders, network folders, as well as the Autodesk Seek library without ever leaving the product. We've added many drafting enhancements that will help make you more productive. There are more multifunctional grips for lines, arcs, as well as dimensions and M leaders. Speaking of M leaders, you now have better control over the distance between your text and the frame. And if you're not using a frame, you can now choose to extend the leader all the way to the text. If you use the M text background mask, you'll appreciate that it now remembers your settings for full color and border offset factor. With our fillet and chamfer preview, you can see how things will turn out with different settings before you complete the command. We've improved join functionality so you can easily join different types of objects. And we've added a blend command which lets you connect objects with spline curves. And again, you can preview results before committing. We've added more powerful array functionality, including the ability to create an associative array on a path. The divide option makes it particularly easy to create an evenly spaced associative array. You can also create a simple linear array of independent objects with the copy command using the array option. Here you use fit to space the array objects. Working in 3D, the level option lets you specify the number of items in the Z direction. We've also added previews for working with surfaces in 3D. For example, you can preview lofts, blends and patches. To help you quickly adjust the coordinate system to suit your needs, we've also added grips to the UCS icon. We've made it easier for you to quickly create associative 2D documentation from your 3D AutoCAD and Inventor models. You can also import and create documentation for many other 3D formats. We've integrated AutoCAD WS, so it's easier to upload and share your drawings. Finally, if you have to migrate settings between releases, we've made many improvements in this area over the last few years, including a Reset Settings to Default option, so you can safely experiment. These are just a few of the new features in this release. Browse the Exchange resources for more information.